show. Sports reporter Megan Plain, what are you serving up tonight? We got lots tonight, Kurt. Hello, everyone, and welcome inside our award-winning locker room show where tonight we have plenty of local teams just a few wins away from championships. The high school basketball state tournament continues. 757 squads facing off in quarterfinal matchups. <laughs> Beware of the dog. The message from a packed Kings Fork gym as the Bulldogs host Henrico in class four quarterfinals. The Bulldogs were on fire. No one scoring more than Sam Brannon in the first half. His 12 points leading Kings Fork. And it's his three to close out the second quarter that gives the Bulldogs a 36-16 lead at halftime. The deficit too big for Henrico. Bulldogs winning this one 84 to 52. Kings Fork advances to face the winner of Jamestown versus Verina. Early first quarter, Blue Devils on the run. Alfonso Billups up ahead to KG Waichi for the basket. Verina starts the game on a 6-1 run. Later in the first, Jamestown goes on a run behind Xavier Brown. The basket and the bump. The game, it's tied at 12 after the free throw. Verina comes back, though, winning this one 106-73 and putting an end to Jamestown's season. Indian River pays a visit to Maury for the boys' Class 5 quarterfinals. Isaiah Dozier gets things started. He feeds it to Dominic Fields, who scores from the paint with the first basket of the game. Maury quickly answers back, though. Cam Jones-Hood, he's going to find Brian Alexander, who sinks a three for the Commodore's lead. And if a three is not exciting enough for you, wait till you see this. Maury ups the ante with none other than an alley oop. And check out how hyped the crowd is. That was Kyrie Pendleton with the basket and that momentum, it cannot be stopped. The Commodores top Indian River in this one, 54 to 32. With that win, Maury advances to face the winner of the Bayside Menchville matchup and this game will come down to the wire. Menchville's Jordan Watlington gets the rock to Eric Turner here. The layup good and the Monarchs pull within five of Bayside in the third quarter. A few plays later, Bayside with the ball and Keandre Willie drives to the basket for a 39-34 lead. The crowd is hyped, but don't count out the Monarchs. ETN Struthers grabs the inbound pass and finds a wide open Andre Carter for an easy two points. Menchville goes on to win this one by one point at the buzzer, a 53-52 victory. We have another 7-5-7 showdown at Princess Anne, where the girls host Norview in the Class 5 quarterfinals. First quarter, Norview's Mia Harrison is there for the rebound and the score, putting up the first points of the game. Princess Anne, they'll get on the board the same way. It's Demaria Mori with the layup to keep things close early on. PA does go on a run here to pull ahead 13 to three when Norview's Tania James decides, I've got all day long. She casually sinks a three in the pilot's trail by seven at this point, but they have the final say in this one. Norview wins 40 to 34, putting an end to Princess Anne's title defense. Plenty of other scores to share from local teams competing in quarterfinals. The Menchville girls come up with a big win tonight against Kempsville. Meanwhile, in Class 4, Kings Fork tops Powhatan 71-52, while Manor comes up with a narrow 53-48 win over Eastern View. And finally, in Class 3, the Lakeland girls win by 5, beating Brentsville 69-64. We're going to take a quick break, but still ahead, more hoops as Duke legend Coach K prepares for his final game at Cameron Indoor Stadium. If you're looking to get a ticket to this weekend's Duke UNC game, think again. The average ticket price sold on TickPick, according to Darren Robel, is more than a whopping $6,000. Why? Because it's the final time you will see Duke head men's basketball coach Mike Krzyzewski take the court for a regular season game. Saturday's home game marks the final stop on his farewell tour when the Blue Devils host UNC for Coach K's final game in Cameron Indoor Stadium. The Duke legend has been around for decades and has earned Duke five national championships. I've been coaching for 47 years and five, almost five decades to coach at West Point and Duke. It's, and then 11 years of coaching the U.S. team. You, you can't get much luckier than that. It, it's been such an honor and, uh, and a privilege to do it. Tomorrow's home finale will get underway at 6 p.m. 